Hello students, in this video we'll see an example of a Hamiltonian system of differential equations and how we can use the level sets of the Hamiltonian to solve the system. Let's consider the system x prime of t is y and y prime of t is negative x plus x squared. This is a nonlinear system since I have this x squared term. We notice when the system is decoupled, when there are only y's and only x's in the corresponding equation, so when there's only y's in the x prime equation and when there's only x's in the y prime equation, it's a Hamiltonian system. This implies the system is Hamiltonian. Which means that our system can be written in the following form that x prime of t is partial h partial y and y prime of t is negative partial h partial x. And for Hamiltonian systems, the trajectories of our system lie in the level sets of h. So, let's see how we construct the Hamiltonian function. We need to have that partial h partial y is y, so we need to find our Hamiltonian, that partial h partial y is equal to y, and negative partial h partial x is equal to negative x plus x squared, or equivalently, that partial h partial x is equal to positive x minus x squared. Now we follow the same procedure that we used for exact equations except with the derivative rules reversed. So we integrate and differentiate. So to find h, we integrate this equation with respect to y. So if we integrate this equation with respect to y, we will have h of x y is y squared over 2 plus a constant. Since we're integrating partially with respect to y, the constant will be a function of x plus c of x. Then, after we integrate, we differentiate to conclude that partial h partial x is c prime of x. Now, we notice that partial h partial x is c prime of x, and partial h partial x is, net, is x minus x squared. So our conclusion from this is that c prime of x is x minus x squared, which tells me that c of x is x squared over 2 minus x cubed over 3. So we see that the Hamiltonian will be y squared over 2 plus x squared over 2 minus x cubed over 3. Now, to find the level sets of h, we'll find the gradient. So the gradient of h will be x minus x squared and y. And the critical points of the Hamiltonian will be when y is equal to 0 and x minus x squared is equal to 0. So our critical points will be 0, 0, and 1, 0. And to classify these critical points, we compute the Hessian of h. The Hessian of h is the matrix of second derivatives. So I'll have the xx derivative here. So that'll be a 1 minus 2x. The xy derivative, which is 0. The yx derivative, which is 0. And the yy derivative, which is 1. The Hessian of our function h at 0, 0 is the matrix 1, 0, 0, 1. Both the eigenvalues are positive, so the point 0, 0 is a minimum. The Hessian at 1, 0 is the matrix negative 1, 0, 0, 1. I have alternating eigenvalues, so 1, 0 is a saddle. Now, we can plot the trajectories of our system by plotting the level sets of the Hamiltonian. So this will be my 
x-axis, and this would be my y-axis, I have a critical point at 0 and a critical point at 1, 0. The critical point at 0, 0 is a minimum, so I have circular trajectories. And the critical point at 1, 0 is a saddle, so I have saddle-like trajectories. So, from this, we can conclude that the origin, 0, 0, is a center of a periodic orbit, and we can conclude that 1, 0 is a saddle. So the saddle case stays the same, and the minimum case corresponds to a center. Thank you very much.